What's up, Jack? Hi there, Lupus Warriors. Welcome back to Lupus Tips. So today in tips, we are going to discuss the holidays and ways to cope so that you do not flare or land up in hospital. Please remember, we will be closed from the 15th of December to the 15th of January. And all our groups on Facebook will be paused and the WhatsApp groups admin will also be on holiday. So if an emergency arises, go to your nearest ER. Your holiday with lupus. Holidays can be fun, but also stressful. Because as a lupus warrior, you may have a fear that you cannot host events, um, will be sick on the day, and you also have a fear of not being able to reach the expectation your family is putting on you. Your anxiety will be high, your worry will be off the chart, and your depression may increase. So it's important if you battle lupus to take it one step at a time. Put certain plans in action so that your family knows what to do when an emergency arises. Make sure that the following are in place as you start the holidays. Make sure that you have all your prescription medication and that your doctor gave you enough to last during the holidays. Make sure you have your doctor's number, emergency numbers and your ID with you at all times. Make sure a family member knows what exactly where your medication is and what you are taking. So put all your medication in a container, list your allergies, list your illnesses and your doctor's name and number. And so if an emergency arises, you can just grab the container and go. Discuss the procedure your family needs to follow during an emergency. It's very important. It is less stress for you in the end of the day. Build a holiday medication kit. Um, in it, include number one, medication for fever like Bernardo and Dispirin. If you're on blood thinners, remember not to take Dispirin as well. For flu symptoms, uh, Sinuclear and Alcoholix is a cough syrup that will work, um, ear drops and eye drops, um, and then mouthwash for um, dry mouth, uh, dental mate, and it's available at Deskim. Okay, then the heat pad, Epsom salts, Voltaren gel, everything for muscle spasms and pain. Then hydrocortisone ointment, uh, Mylocort is a good one for rashes or um, skin problems. Sunblock, SPF 50 or higher to ensure that you don't burn in the sun. Also, don't go in the sun or stay in the sun for long periods. Anti-inflammatory. Uh, like ibuprofen uh, for joint and muscle pain, milk of magnesia for a, uh, ulcers in the mouth, sulfur-free shampoo to um, help with hair loss, cranberry juice and urispaz. Urispaz is available over the counter for um, UTIs, urinary tract infections, valoid and Phenagan, Valoid is an anti-nausea medication and Phenagan is an anti-histamine as well as an anti-nausea um, medication if you have side effects from your medication. Last one, add any medication that you personally feel you may need on during the holidays. A list of things you can do to calm the storm during these holidays. Break things down into smaller pieces to be manageable tasks for you. Make a realistic list of what you really can do and leave the rest for your family. Then comes to ask for help. We all need help. You don't have to be a hero. Take a deep breath if things um, get overwhelming and then continue the breathing. One, two, three, four, in. Five, hold. And six, seven, eight, out. Just say no. Please as lupus warriors, we are so driven to be normal that we overdo it during the holidays. And then we land up in hospital in a flare, rather say no and do less things and then we'll be able to spend time with your family. Maintain healthy boundaries. Remember to do only what you can do. Don't let people use you and then you get ill. Place yourself and rest. Connect with people 
over the holidays, like uh, phoning them, uh, video call, rather than vis visiting everybody and tiring yourself. Treat yourself with your favorite food, binge episodes on Netflix, whatever you feel treats you. Distract yourself and stay away from social media and news. It can be overwhelming and it then can cause a flare. Appreciate the people in your life, the people that stay with you, your, your support network. Appreciate them and say thank you. Anticipate. Give yourself something you look forward to. It helps a lot with depression. Exercise. Make sure you exercise. Even if it's just a walk, your body needs that and your pain will become less. Find joy. Look for something that makes you happy. Come communicate your needs. It's very important that you are honest with your family and tell them exactly what you can do and cannot do and what you need help with. Holidays and all the extra pressure could have you land up with a flare or in hospital. Do what you need to do to ensure that you stay healthy. Firstly, plan as much as you can to lower your stress levels. Set achievable goals. Secondly, ask for help. Ask your family and support network to help you with the things that you know you cannot do or will land you up in a flare. Thirdly, take your medication exactly like prescribed and plan for enough rest. Remember, it's more important for your family to spend time with you than having you work yourself into a flare and in hospital and then they cannot see you. Make yourself and your health a priority this festive season. Everything does not have to be perfect. Spending time with your family is way more important. Family is what the holidays are all about. If you enjoyed these tips, please hit the like button below. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Andreas Give, Andreas Give Teens and Tweens, Susie Eagleslight and Lupus South Africa. Thank you for listening and remember, giving up is not an option. That's all folks. That's all folks.